That is not a joke. That represents death. That represents lynching. This is what Pompano Beach firefighter recruit Vilbert Green found hanging on his chair inside the training center the last day of school in June. He was offended by it, but he didn't want to cause a problem. He, he thought, and I've had this conversation with Vilbert, it was just a bad joke, Chief. And I said, Vilbert, it's not a joke. Fire Chief John Jurgle launched an investigation after the lead trainer told him about the news. Jurgle says four of Green's fellow recruits were responsible. Nobody has admitted to anything. The four recruits, Matthew Riley, Gandhi Perez, Kara Barbarian, and Austin Sove, were all questioned. Riley was fired. The other three resigned. We took swift action. It is the action that needed to be taken for a horrendous um, event like this, and I'm comfortable with that. The chief said Perez tied the knot. We tried to reach Perez at his Miami address. That's your cousin. Yeah, that's Could you help us get in touch with him? Uh, yeah, I'll try to call him later. I'm pretty sure he's at work. Green, who is still a Pompano Beach firefighter recruit, is not talking about what happened to him. No one would comment at his Miami Gardens home. The chief said he has no regrets on the outcome of his investigation. We will not tolerate it. We will never tolerate it. This department has come too far to put up with something like this from probationary employees to put a symbol like that, a symbol of hate and death, and then want to call it a fishing knot or call it a joke. I don't see the humor in that. Now, the big question is how this incident could affect the four firefighters in their future firefighting job prospects. The chief said he doesn't have an answer for that. Meanwhile, Green will become a full-fledged Pompano Beach firefighter next year. In Pompano Beach Tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.